Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the lead code question, construct a binary tree from in order and post order traversal. Oh, okay, so before I get started with the question, I just want to mention that if there are any lead code questions that you want me to spo solve specifically, just let me know down in the comments and I'll try to get them solved for you. Okay, so in this question, we're given an in order and a post order traversal of a tree, and we need to construct a binary tree using that information. So let's first see what this actually means and how we can use it to construct a binary tree. So let's say that this over here is the binary tree that we are given uh, as an example. So now let's see what its uh, in-order traversal looks like. So you have three types of traversals, in-order, post-order, and pre-order. So in this case, we only care about in-order and post-order. So in an in-order traversal, you first visit the left node then you go to the root node, and then you go to the right node. So let's see what that looks like for this tree. We're always gonna start off with our root. So we're gonna start off at three. Now we're gonna look at its left. So its left child is a nine. So nine temporarily becomes our root. So now we're gonna look to see if the nine has any children. So if it has a left child, and it does not have a left child, now we're going to go back to the root, which in this case is 9, and we're going to add that to our list. Now after root, we need to look at the right. So now we're going to look if 9 has any uh, right child, and it doesn't. So now we can go back to our 3. So we've covered 9. Now we're going to go back to our 3, and we're going to add that to our list. So now we need to look at 3's right child, which is a 20. So right now we're at 20. And so 20 is going to be our root for now. Now, again, we need to look at uh, 20's left child, if it has one. And it does. 20 does have a left child of 15. Now, again, 15 is going to be our root for now. And we're going to look to see if it has a left child. It doesn't. So we're going to add 15. And now we need to look at 15's right child, which also doesn't exist. So now we're done with this. And now we're going to go back to our 20 and we're going to add that to our list. So now that we have 20, now we need to look at its right children. So it does have a right child of 7. So 7 is going to be our root for now. So now we look at 7's left child, which does not exist. 7 does, uh, so th then we add 7. Then we look for its right child, which also does not exist. And we're done. So now we have the whole tree. So this is what our in-order traversal for this tree is going to look like. So now let's see the same thing, but let's look at its post-order traversal. So I'm just going to be using the color blue to represent everything done regarding to the post-order traversal. Okay, so in our post-order traversal, post means after. So we're going to look at our root at the ending. So first we go to the left node. Then we're going to go to the right node and the root comes at the end. So then at the very ending, we look at the root. Okay, so let's start again. So we start off at the three. We always start off with the root. Now we're going to look at its left node. So we go to nine and now we look to see, so nine becomes our root for now. Now we look to see if right has a left node, doesn't, it does not have a right node. So now we're going to add the root, which in this case is nine. So now that we're done with that, we're going to go back to the three, but we're not going to add three because we need to look at its right child. So uh, now we're going to look at three's right child, which is 20. So now we're at the 20 and now we're going to look at 20's uh, left child. So that's 15. So now we're at 15. And now we're going to look for 15's left child, which does not exist. It does not have a right child either. So now we're going to add the root, which is 15. So now we're going to add 15 to our answers. Then after that, we're going to go back to 20, but we're not going to add it since now we need to go back to its right child. So 20's right child is seven. And at seven, we do the same thing. We look at its left child does not exist. Right child does not exist. So then we add the root. So now we're going to add 7. And since we got 20's left and right child, now we can add the root, which is 20. So now we can add 20. And now finally, we can add the root, which is 3. So this is going to be our post-order traversal. And you can look at the difference. And now let's see how we can 
Given both of them, how we can construct a binary tree using this information. So now let's see how we can create a binary tree given an in-order and post-order traversal. So over here I have an in-order traversal and over here I have a post-order. And just to remind ourselves, uh, in-order has left, then you look at the root, and then you look at the right. And for post-order, you look at the left, then you look at the right, and then you look at the root. So let's now see how we can create our tree using this information. Now, since we have left, right, and root, we know that no matter what, the last element in our post-order traversal is going to be the root of the binary tree. So in this case, A is the root. So we have the root over here, which is A. Now, what can we do with this? So what we can do is we can take this root and look for it in our in order list. So we found A over here. And what does this tell us? So in order is left, right, and root. So everything to the left is gonna be part of the left part of our binary tree. So D, B, and E are all gonna be part of the left. And F, C, and G are all gonna be part of the right. So first let's just solve or find out the left part of our binary tree. So we know that it's gonna have D, B, and E, but we don't know at what in which order we're gonna find them, right? So how can we find that? So in order to find out the order, we're gonna be using our post order. So what we're gonna do is, look. we're gonna look for D, B, or E inside of our post order traversal. And whatever comes first is going to be our root. So, First, so we can we need to look for either of these, D, B, or E. So not here, not here, not here, and we came across B. So the first thing we came across is B. So we're gonna make that our root. And its children are going to be, so we're gonna cross out B since we already have it, and its children are either gonna be D or E. And again, we don't know in what order. So to find out the order, we're gonna look for the B inside of our in-order traversal, so we found it over here. And again, remember it follows left, right, left, root, and right. So in this case, the left is D. So that's our left child. The root is B as we found it, and E is the right child. So now we solved the left-hand part of our binary tree. Now we're going to do the same thing, but for the right-hand side. So again, our right-hand side is gonna consider, consist of F, C, and G, but we do not know in which order. So in order to find out what comes uh, is going to be our root, we need to look for F, C, or G, and whatever comes first is going to be our root. Again, I forgot to mention this earlier, we're going to iterate from the right to the left. So we're going to go in this direction. Okay, so as you can see, the first thing we find is C. So C is going to become our root. Now we can cross that off, and we know its children are going to be either F or G, but we don't know what is what. So in order to find out which one is the left child and which one is the right child, we're gonna look for C, which is the root in this case, in our in order list. So we found it here, so C. And uh, again, in order for us left, root, right. So what is to the left of C? F. So F is going to be the left node. Then we have C, which is the root, and then we have G over here, which is going to be our right node. And this is how we can find out a binary tree given an in order or a, and a post order traversal of it. So let's now put this into code and see how we can solve it using Python. As with most tree based questions, we're gonna use recursion to solve this one as well. Okay, so we're first gonna see if our in order or post order list is empty. And if there is no nothing inside of it, we're just gonna return none. So if not post order, or you could also do or not in order. It honestly doesn't matter because if one of them is not there, the other one is not there either. Okay, so in that case, we're just gonna return none. Okay, so now that we have this, we can establish a few variables. So we're gonna have our value, which is going to be whatever is the last element inside of the post order list. So in our first iteration, this is going to be the root. So that's gonna be the value of the root to be precise. 
So now we're going to create this into an object. So we're going to make it called root. And so now we're going to use the tree node class. Uh, and if you're confused where this class is coming from, it's already predefined for us. So we're just using that definition again. So we're going to have the tree node class and we're going to give it the value. All right. So now we're going to have an index. So this index is going to be uh, the index of where the value is in our in order list. So to do that, it's just going to be in order dot index val. So that'll give us the index of where this value is in the in order list. So now you might be asking, why are we doing that? So let me just go to our example over here and let's just look at the case of our first iteration. So in the first iteration, our root is going to be whatever the last element is for our post order. So that's three. So now we're going to look for three in our in order list. So three has an index of one. So in order to find everything that's to the left, so that's the same as looking at everything up to the index of one for our post order list. So we're going to use this as our po in order list. So everything to the left of three as our in order list left of uh, whatever is at the first index for our post order list to find the left children of our tree. And to find the right children, we're going to find everything uh, starting from the next element of where we have three. So from 15 all the way to the ending. And we're also going to do the same for the post order list. So, so we're going to go to the first index of our post order list. We're going to the first index because the root is at the first index for our in order list. So we're going to start off from the first index and we're going to go all the way up to the last but one element. So we're not going to consider a last element here because that is our root and we already took it into consideration. So now that we understand that, we can go back to our code and continue writing it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to find the left uh, children of our root. So we're going to do root.left and we're going to call the function on, a, uh, on itself. So self.buildTree. Okay, and what are we going to call this function on? We're calling it for the left side. So we're going to call in order everything up to the index. So everything up to the index but not including the index. And similarly for our pre post order, so it, for our post order list, we're going to call everything up to the index as well. So everything starting from zero all the way up to the index. Now, similarly for our root dot right, so the right children, we're going to do the same thing again, self dot build tree. Okay, and now for our in order list, we're going to call everything from one element to the right of the root all the way to the ending. So in other words, it's going to be in order. So we're going to start off with index plus one. So the next element, and we're going to go until the ending. So do we do that? And now for our post order list, we're going to start off at whatever our index is at. So that's going to be our starting point. And we're going to go until the last element. So we're going to go until the last element, but not including the last element. So that's why we need to specify negative one over here. Okay, so this is going to find our left and right children recursively. And then after that, we can just return our root, which is a tree object. And now let's submit this. Okay, it says val is okay, sorry, this is supposed to be value. I submit that again. All right, and as you can see, our code did get accepted. And finally, do let me know if you have any uh, questions or if you have a better solution to solve this question. And if there's any lead code question that you want me to answer, just let me know down in the comments and I'll try to get them answered for you. And thanks a lot for watching and uh, do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.